Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. 11 plus x times 11 minus x is equal to root 121 minus x. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. By using this algebraic identity a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This 11 plus x times 11 minus x will become 121 minus x squared is equal to root 121 minus x. Now this 121 minus x must be greater than or equal to 0. 121 minus x must be greater than or equal to 0 which implies that uh, x must be less than or equal to 121. In this uh, 121 minus x squared 121 minus x squared must be greater than or equal to 0 which implies that uh, x squared must be less than or equal to 121 and this implies that uh, x must be less than or equal to 11 and x must be greater than or equal to negative 11. If we combine this and this, so this is the domain of the equation. Now we suppose that that y is equal to root 121 minus x and if we square both sides this implies that uh, y squared is equal to 121 minus x and if we move this uh, negative x to the left hand side this implies that uh, y squared plus uh, x is equal to 121 and in this equation if we replace this uh, root uh, 121 minus x uh, with this y then this equation will become 121 minus x squared is equal to y. Move this uh, negative x squared to the right hand side this implies that uh, x squared plus uh, y is equal to 121. Now if we compare this equation with this equation we notice that uh, at right hand side of this equation we have 121 and uh, at right hand side of this equation we have 121. So we can write uh, left hand side of this equation x squared plus y equal to this left hand side y squared plus uh, x. So we get another equation x squared plus uh, y is equal to y squared plus uh, x. Now we move uh, everything to the left hand side then this will become x squared minus y squared. This positive x will become negative x at left hand side and this uh, plus y plus y is equal to 0. Now this uh, x squared minus y squared will become x plus uh, y times uh, x minus y and uh, from these two terms uh, negative x plus y we can factor out uh, negative 1 in bracket left uh, x minus y is equal to 0. This x minus y is a common factor so we factor out this uh, x minus y and, uh, in bracket left uh, in bracket left this x plus y and this negative 1 in bracket left uh, x plus uh, y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression x minus y is equal to 0 or this expression x plus uh, y minus 1 equal to 0. Now we recall the equation we recall the equation 
we recall this equation 121 minus x squared is equal to y we recall that uh, y is equal to 121 minus x squared so first uh, in this equation we replace this y with this uh, 121 minus x squared so this will become x minus 121 minus x squared is equal to 0 further simplify this will become x minus 121 plus x squared is equal to 0 rearrange these terms this will become x squared plus x minus 121 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 121 divided by 2 times a is 1 next x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus this 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 121 will become plus 484 and 484 plus 1 will become root 485 divided by 2 times 1 2 it means that from here we get 2 values of x x1 is equal to negative 1 plus root 485 divided by 2 and uh, x2 is equal to negative 1 minus root 485 divided by 2 now we solve the second case in the second case in this equation we replace this y with this 121 minus x squared so this will become x plus 121 minus x squared minus this 1 is equal to 0 further simplify this will become negative x squared plus x and 121 minus 1 will become plus 120 is equal to 0 since this is negative x squared so to make this positive we multiply the whole equation by negative 1 so negative 1 times x squared will become positive x squared negative 1 times x will become negative x and this will become negative 120 is equal to 0 now this quadratic equation is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative times b is negative 1 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 120 divided by 2 times a is 1 next x is equal to negative negative will become positive 1 plus or minus square root of this negative 1 squared will become 1 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 120 will become positive 480 and 480 plus 1 will become 481 divided by 2 times 1 2 from here we get uh, other two values of x the other two values of x are uh, x3 is equal to 1 plus uh, root 481 divided by 2 and uh, x4 is equal to 1 minus root 481 divided by 2 
Now we use the domain of this equation to remove any invalid solutions. The domain of the equation is uh, x must be less than or equal to 11 and x must be greater than or equal to negative 11. The domain of the equation is uh, x must be less than or equal to 11 and x must be greater than or equal to negative 11. Now this value of x1, x1 is uh, approximately equal to 10.51. This value of x2, x2 is uh, approximately equal to negative 11.51. And this value of x3 is uh, x3 is uh, approximately equal to 11.46. This value of x4 x4 is uh, approximately equal to negative 10.46. Now this value of x1 10.51 is uh, less than 11 and is greater than negative 11. So, this value of x1, negative 1 plus uh, root 485 over 2 is a valid solution. And this uh, negative 11.51 is uh, less than negative 11. So, this will be rejected. And this uh, 11.46 is uh, greater than 11. This also will be rejected. And this uh, fourth value of x, uh, negative 10.46 uh, is less than 11 and is uh, greater than negative 11. So, this uh, fourth value of x, uh, negative 1 minus uh, 481 over 2 is also a valid solution. So, we have two solutions for this equation. x is equal to negative 1 plus uh, root 485 over 2. The second is uh, 1 minus root 481 divided by 2. This is the final answer of uh, this problem.